Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, track field invalid reference time. Uh, this error, it's pretty common in uh, DaVinci Resolve and that's only if you have DaVinci Resolve, the planet tracker set in a specific way. If there's there something you're doing wrong there, you're going to receive this error. So I'm going to show you how you can fix it. So make sure you watch this short video until the very end. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into to this video. So we have this arrow here, track failed, invalid reference time. The reference time zero must be within the render range, which is currently set to this range. So what we can do, click on OK, and we have this, this, uh, this uh, yellow lines or um bars uh what they do specifically is just showing us what's what you do here is basically uh, what, what you editing in this uh, with uh, fusion is only is gonna only affect uh, what's within these bars yellow line uh, bars all right so fix this problem we can drag this boss all the way to the end and all the way to the back to the end uh, to the end here so we don't have this this black here everything has the same color pretty much now if you click on planner tracker if you click on uh, track you just select here what you want click on track okay so if you're receiving now this arrow you, what you can do is just put the tracker usually in the middle not the tracker but this line this uh, uh, yeah this line I guess it's called I don't, know what, I don't know what it's called and then you just set the reference time here and you click on set now we have a reference time here and we have to redo this okay so just click on this icon select everything click on backspace and now we go back to this uh, this and now here we we select what we want to track and now we click on here this is going to track as you can see this portion and now we can go to click on go which will set the line right when the tracker started and now we'll click on this as well and this is pretty much what you have to do now we can simply you know add something to the tracker or we can track more and yeah i really hope guys this video helped you make sure you subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next tutorial take care